What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, KS Beauty World, and I'm back at it again with another freaking video. Video. What? Video. What? Yes, honey, your girl is back with another freaking video. And I made it back home safe and sound from LA. I had a wonderful time while I was vacationing. And I just want to let you guys know that that is a very attractive tour spot that you must go see once in a lifetime. I have knocked that one off my bucket list and I have plenty more to come this year and the year 2019. It's not, oh, 19. <laughs> you know, your girl be silly. So today I'm coming to you with the nighttime routine. Um, so typically when I get off work, I like to come home and I like to go ahead and take a bath because you know I work in the healthcare field, so I want to get all the germs off of me. So first thing I do is I hop in the shower, which I've already did that, take a good old shower, get all the germs off me, and then next I work on my face. Now, this is my nighttime routine. A lot of people ask me, well, Kayla, how do you get your skin to look so clear and so good? I'm going to zoom up on my face. Ooh. But they always be like, well, Kayla, how you get your skin to look so good? And, you know, you just, you don't wear makeup. You're very pretty without makeup, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to let you guys in on the secret. So first things first, what I do, again, I get in the shower, get out, lotion my body. I do have clothes on under this too, by the way, so I'm not naked. But um, I always like to wear my robe because it's nice and comfy, and especially when it's cold outside. But get in the shower. Once I get out of the shower, I put my lotion, deodorant, tie my hair up um, in a high bun so it'd be away from my face at the time. First things first, a lot of females use edge control. I'm not the only one out there. So what I do is I just take a rag and I just, you know, wet it with water. Sorry if the water is loud. Um, but I just wet it with water and I just go around my edges to wipe all that stuff off because you don't want to keep it like a build up um especially around your hairline because it could break your hair off you know around here i'm not um a doctor or anything but i mean everybody knows that your edges are like the most important thing because your girl like her edges okay so basically, I just wipe it down um, the front of my hair because every day or every night, if I decide to wrap my hair up, I do put edge control in it. Um, I do have two different types of edge control while I'm talking about the edge control. I use this one, which is one I just found. It's okay, but it do leave white spots. And then also, this is the other one I have, and um, it also leaves spots. If anybody know what is a good edge control user, please let me know down in the comment section down below because I've been trying to find one that does not leave any residue amongst your head. But of course, I have not found that yet. So once I'm done with my uh, wiping around my perimeter here. Now, a lot of people don't agree with me. I don't always wear eyelashes. If you look back at my videos, there are some videos I do have eyelashes on. There are some videos I don't have eyelashes on. Well, since I just came back from my trip, I got individual lashes, so I'm going to be, you know, washing around them. A lot of people say that's not sanitary. Um, there's just a way of doing things, pretty much, okay? So, first things first, I use Oxy Face Wash. Um, I have been using this face wash for about five years now and it has never did me wrong um your main ingredients when you look for a face wash anybody could go against what i'm saying because i'm not a doctor nor do i promote anything or anything like that but my personal doctor told me it is good to find a face wash that does not have alcohol in it because alcohol dries up your skin and it leaves it even more room for dirt i don't really know something like that she said um but benzoyl peroxide needs to be in the product no alcohol but benzoyl peroxide is good for the face so i wash my face with uh oxy first so i'll be demonstrating that so basically i wet my finger put it on the area of my face i have about this much and i go around on one side And I do the same for the other. And then one day I'm 
I'm going to invest in like uh, one of those, you know, brushes because I see a lot of people talking about the brushes. It's really good for um, your face and with acne and stuff like that um, or just getting into the follicles in general. So I will be getting a um, facial brush soon. I just typically go with um, my hands to do most of the cleaning because I know it works. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Let me wash this off. wipe my face off um a lot of people say pat pat your face dry to me it doesn't really matter how you wipe your face off as long as you get all the stuff off and your face is clean and how you want to use it so this is what i do and i do my eye like that and i go above it and i do the same here and i go above it and i wipe it in both areas now my eyelash is messed up over here, but I'm just gonna let the girl fix it when I go to her soon. Um, so that's fine. So this is how I wash my face. After, of course, my face is red, my face is dry. It's not super dry, but I like my face to be dry, but not too dry where it gets ashy. Then if I do want to use a moisturizer, I must not have any. If I do want to use a moisturizer, I use Mary Kay products for a moisturizer because it's um it's a really good moisturizer. I can't think of the name and I don't know where the bottle is right now. But if I do use um any lotion or anything on my face, that is what I do, a Mary Kay product lotion. Um so once I have that in, also my nighttime routine is to clean my jewelry, all the piercings I have. Um, since this one is new, it is like a little irritated right now. Of course, when you get any new piercing, they're irritating. So I'm going to start with these, this side first because I've had this side done longer. Nothing over here hurts. So that's one. I'm going to take the other side and I'm just, oh, it ain't even. Um, I'm going to take the other side and just clean over here, make sure it does not have any buildup from my hair products that I use. And then once again, get another one and I'm going to clean around my area here. As you can tell, it is a little irritated, there's a little blood on it. And I clean the inside part because it is pierced. Um, through the inside you guys can see that all right so see it's irritated a little bit it has a little um, blood on it but I mean you can keep it clean as much as you want you still will have that little residue all right so then once I'm done with my face and all that good stuff I typically just leave my hair and my edges and stuff like it is. I don't brush my teeth right now because I do that after I eat. So I'm going to go find something to eat. Then I'll brush my teeth and then I'll put my hair how I want to have it for the next day so that I can um, wrap it up and I won't have to do anything in the morning. Now, when I have my natural hair out, I do have to get up a little early in the morning because I have to flat iron it. I have really bushy thick hair. Um, once I take the braids out, I will show you guys what my real hair looks like and how bushy it is because I have a lot of hair, like a lot of hair. I do have, um, the back of my hair shaved, if you guys can see that. I've had it shaved for a year now. It's very convenient, but it's hard because I'm trying to grow it back, so it takes, I don't know what I'm going to have to do to like try to figure out a style I can keep in my hair for a long time to try to cover it back up. You know what I'm saying? Um, while the process is growing because when it grows, it be looking nappy, you know. Um, so yeah, some other fashion tricks that I use is um, like tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is my number one go-to product when I'm having an issue, whether it's, um, you know, dealing with your face. I can't get it out of the box, but you know, whether it's, 
dealing with your face or anything like that um i just like put it on a cotton ball mix it with water and you know get to the area that it needs to be you know get to and i just call it a day with that so right now i'm going to hang my stuff up And there you have it. That is my nighttime routine. And if I've had a stressful day at work, I will go make a cocktail before I start any, anything as soon as I get home. So, that is my nighttime routine. I hope you guys liked it. Comment down below if there's anything else you want to see or me to do in general. I'm always here. And also, um, comment me some things to do on the channel, you know? 